Hey, what's up, guys? Gonna show you the uh, new cell. Uh, it's a lot smaller now. Same plates, but uh, I just rebuilt them and uh, rebuilt the tank also a little bit smaller. So, here's the size of the plates. These aren't the plates I'm using because they have a hole in them. But uh, the size of the plates fit in. They're pretty much centered right in between there. And there's a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on top. Using uh, my old top melted, so I redid this one, and now my outlet comes out here. Just more compact and stuff. Uh, I got the amp meter hooked up, running 25 volts, about three cups of uh, distilled water. And uh, actually, no, this isn't distilled water. This is just regular tap water, hose water, because I ran out of distilled. But uh, anyways, three cups of tap water with a, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda on 25 volts. And uh, I'm going to show you the torch using a uh, 0.6 millimeter welding tip, MIG welding tip, uh, for the torch and uh, two cigarette filters for the flashback arrestor. I'm actually going to be building a uh, flashback arre arrestor that uses bronze wool. So uh, I'm going to hook this up here to the wire. So we're pulling, this is with the cell all heated up, 21 amps. And we're putting out about a liter, 1.1 liters in one minute. There's a bubble in this little container. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the camera down over here and I'll go ahead and light this torch up. And there we go. It's a lot bigger than before now that we're producing more uh, HHO. It's really, really bright orange. I'm going to shut the light off so you can see it a little bit better. But, uh, it's really big, surprisingly. Um, That'll cut through quite a bit of stuff. It burns holes in cans like nothing. And, uh, the way we put it out is we just, uh, dunk this in this thing of water here. And there we go. Did it quick because I didn't want it to flashback. But anyways, uh, once I get a real flashback arrestor made, I'll, uh, hook it up. Here's the uh, gas output. I'll put it up to the microphone. So there's quite a bit coming out of there. Nice steady flow. I can feel it on my uh, wrist and stuff. Anyways, just want to show you guys that and uh, I'll let you go and hope to see you next time. Thanks.